what happens if you actually dare to tell the real story? Is it really going to have passion, energy, and power? Well, there are two, two things to consider with this. The first is, and it's easier to think about when you have children because then it's real, do you want to lie to your children? Now, there are times it's very tempting. <laughs> and there are times that the authoritarian model of because I told you so just comes out because you're sick of arguing and negotiating and sometimes they're better arguers than you are and then you're really in trouble. Um, but on the big picture issues, do you want to lie to your children? Do you want to say that this is what happened when you know that that isn't what happened? So there's an ethical question there. And, and the second side is the, the truth is out there. They may find it. They may go to a university. They may pick up a book. They may look on the internet. And what will they find? They'll find this archaeological, evidence-based version of Jewish history. And then they'll say, why did you lie to me? Or how can I be Jewish if I don't believe this anymore? If being Jewish is so tied up in this story, then why bother being Jewish if the story isn't true? On the other hand, if you build a Jewish identity based on the real story, then you have a foundation that will last. That, I think, is a more successful long-term strategy.